Hi everyone, this video is going to help with uh, unit rates with fractions and also the problem solving. So I'm going to throw in a couple of those 1.5 sections. And no making fun of my nail polish, I should have taken it off today. I know you're all staring at it, laughing at me. Alright, so what is a unit rate? <clears throat> and with fractions that makes it a little bit harder. So let me look at this first example here. It says, Suppose you walk three halves mile in three fourths of an hour. So it's so more it's a lot more confusing when I write it with fractions. But we want miles per hour. So we want to make sure when we divide that the hours are on the bottom because we want it per hour. So we want that one or that unit rate to be with the hours. So we're basically taking a fraction and dividing it by a fraction. So that's why we're starting with this because you should be good at fractions by um, by now or you know still working on it but getting better. So let's look at that division on the problem I was just looking at. So we want to do three halves and we're going to divide it by three fourths. So it's written kind of ugly, right? So remember, you either flip the second one and multiply, or you flip the bottom one and multiply. So I'm going to keep that three halves on the top the same, change my symbol to a multiplication, and flip the three-fourths over. That's going to, so the three is going to go into the three, right? So I can cancel those both to a one. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and then 4 and 2 are both divisible by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then I times across, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. So um, we have 2 over 1, or 2 miles per hour. So the one hour was on the bottom, so it's two miles per hour. So that is going to be our unit rate. All right, so the next question that I'm going to look at has to do with um, a recipe. A recipe calls for three-fourths a cup of dry milk powder to make six dog biscuits. How many cups of milk powder do you need per dog biscuit? So per dog biscuit. So that per word, right, should say, okay, I want that in the denominator. So I'm going to take three-fourths and I'm going to dry it, divide it by six to get how many cups per biscuit. Okay. All right, so we're going to take our three-fourths and we're going to divide it by six. So think of the six as like six over one, right? So I'm going to flip that over so I have the three-fourths and I'm going to times it by um, one over six. Okay, so we can reduce this way again. Three divided by three is one. Three goes into six twice and then we times the top ones the numerators, one times one is one, denominators, four times two is eight. So we have one eighth a cup per one biscuit is how I kind of think of it. So we don't have to write the one biscuit, but I was just saying like we always have that one unit, one eighth a cup of that flour mixture per one biscuit, right? So three fourths made six, one eighth made one. So it makes sense. Three fourths is bigger than one eighth. Six was bigger than the one. So you can kind of help you with that. All right. So um, there was another one that a couple people. So in in section one five. So these were one four. Um, and it really is working on that division. In 1-5, you had a couple that made you then convert and a couple made you use like distance equals rate times time and some other things. So I wanted to make sure I did a couple of these ones. All right, so of course I should have just, oh, here it's one. All right, so this one is actually, well, I don't want to do that one. That one's straight from your homework. Uh, I was going to show you one, then I was like, oh, wait, that one's straight from your homework. 
Oh well, I'm just going to do the one from our homework. Okay, so you'll notice it's written a little different in this book that I have, but it is still your homework problems. Okay, so Diana is going camping with her family. Their campsite is three four smile away. They walk at a steady speed of one and one eighth miles per hour. So there's a rate, right? That's already a rate. How many minutes will it take them to get to the campsite? So how many minutes will it take them to get to the campsite? Okay, so let's go over here and let's think about this one. All right, we're going to go three-fourths mile and we have our miles per hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to think of this as three-fourths miles and we're going to divide that by our one and one-eighth, one and one-eighth miles per hour and I'm going to rewrite this fraction and this will give us how many um, hours, this, our miles are going to cancel so I want to show you that and we're going to be left with just our amount of hours so then we can convert that to minutes. Okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to take the 1 and 1 eighth and I'm going to write it as a improper fraction. So 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9 eighths. So I'm going to have 3 fourths divided by 9 eighths and I am going to think of this one as this is like um, how do I want to explain that one okay so I want to write this as like okay this one's miles and it's like 9 eighths over 1 or miles per one hour so anytime I have that word per it's like per one or it's in the denominator so I'm thinking of nine eighths over one that's just kind of how I thought of it so if I go to multiply these I'm gonna have three fourths and I'm gonna times it by eight ninths and what is that gonna give me well it's gonna give me okay four is gonna cancel into the eight both divided by four you get one and two and then three divides into um, nine leaving me a three so this is gonna leave me two thirds and what is it left of hours because our miles over our miles are gonna cancel each other and that's what I was kind of trying to show here I don't know if I got that quite across the way I wanted but basically you're saying you have miles over miles or you end up with just your hours um, when you divide that out so I have two-thirds of an hour so I'm gonna think okay I have two-thirds of an hour of an hour and I want minutes so how many minutes are in an hour? There are 60 minutes in one hour. So I set up this proportion as my hours to cancel so that our minutes are what we have left. So hours always are going to go on the denominator so that they and uh, on the numerator across from each other so that you're left with minutes if you're confused on do I divide by 60 do I times by 60. So I'm going to take two thirds times 60 and two thirds times 60 without all the other stuff is three divides into 60 and you're going to get 20 and then times that by 2 and you get 40 minutes and that's actually the straight problem from your homework because I thought this other one was similar but it's not um, it was a little bit different so I wanted to make sure I answered this one for a couple people let me see so I think that will help with let's see if there's any other ones that I was like er feet feet I think that'll help with that one that was I thought was a little bit harder all right so there you go there's a video that'll help kind of with the unit rates in 1.4 and also with one example from 1.5